So I want to show you how to take a regular QuickBooks file with a bunch of transactions, a bunch of information, and export it to Excel. Uh, there's different ways of doing that. First, I will show you the traditional way of doing that, which is basically uh, doing a report. And it's important to mention, this is a QuickBooks for Windows. So this is QuickBooks Pro, Premier, Accountant, Enterprise. So the first thing, I'll go to Reports, Company Financial, Profit and Loss Detail. This is just an example. And uh, the first step is I pull the report. After the report is up, I'm going to go in the top of the report section here and click on the Excel button and then click on Create New Worksheet. This is kind of the first step. So we pull the report in QuickBooks. We go to Create New Worksheet. I get to choose if I want to update a, a, another spreadsheet or I want to create a brand new spreadsheet. I'm just going to do for now just a new workbook and click on Export. It takes uh, seconds, uh, sometimes minutes, depending on how big the QuickBooks file is. But uh, you will see in a question of 10 or 15 seconds, that entire report will uh, export into a brand new Excel spreadsheet. And um, as soon as it's ready, uh, I will, you can click on the Excel icon down here. And you can see basically the ex same exact report that I was looking on the screen is now in Excel. But that's the traditional way of doing it. What I want to show you is how to use uh, a wonderful tool called QB to Excel. It's a third party tool. And this is based on an article, a very popular article that I wrote on my website. Uh, kind of explaining step by step how the whole process works and um, so this is a complement to this article so I'm going to go into the manufacturers uh, developers website for this particular software uh, just to kind of show you how to how to download it and the best news is it's free it's great news right you don't have to pay anything for this software uh, so it's called QB to Excel and you just go into their website uh, you click on download it will take you straight to the download page you will download the software install it and once, uh, once it's installed, should be pretty easy at this point. So once it's installed, uh, you just basically uh, run the program. Uh, it, I put an icon here on my taskbar. Run the program. It will ask you the first time to make sure you're connected into QuickBooks. So all you have to do is hit yes, yes, yes. I didn't, did that previous to this video. And uh, it's very neat. Uh, it gives you a tab with all the common access tables, you know, things like accounts, bills, checks. They're all stored in different tables. And you also have access to pretty much all the tables, uh, you know, invoices, uh, checks, details of checks, bills. So I can actually go into almost every single database subtable inside of QuickBooks and pull it. So I'm going to look for uh, invoice line items, uh, for example. So I want to pull invoice line items in here. And uh, I'll just find here item, invoice line items. There we go. I'll put a check check checkbox there. And um, I have the choice of doing just a year or just a month or, or the entire accounting period. Uh, for this example, I just do the whole thing. And also, um, you can do Excel and Access. So, so this uh, little free program can export into Access as well. So that's actually really, really great news. So I'm going to click on Convert. <clears throat> and uh, the next step here is just to kind of wait for it to do its magic behind the scenes. It will create uh, the first tab, which is sort of... Uh, uh, statistics about uh, you know what was converted and how many items and how many transaction lines and so forth and then another tab for company info but here the third tab uh, here at the bottom this is where all the details are this is like every single type of data point that was uh, related to invoice line items in this case it's in there uh, so people ask me you know Hector why would I even want to do that but you know where, where the real power is is uh, taking this data and creating a pivot table because it's so so fast and so quick. So basically, I'll click anywhere here and uh, and I'll click on se uh, select all, which is Control A on the keyboard, uh, and then go into the Insert tab in the top and click on Pivot Table. And basically, this will quickly ask me to create a new uh, new sheet here for pivot tables. And the way it, it works is it just takes that immense amount of data and summarizes it in a report really really quick so I'll start with um, item name so I'm gonna look for item name in here somewhere and I'll grab item name and I'll put it here on the rows and what that would do is it will it will take all my item names and put them into a row format so I can build my report so as soon as I drop that in there you can see uh, all my items that are in QuickBooks this is basically every single item that I used uh, in a transaction so now I'm going to look for something meaningful like uh, quantity, item quantity. So I'm going to put this here, but this time around I'm going to drop it not into labels but into values because that will give me a column 
where it'll add up or it'll count every time we've sold that item. So that's how many transactions have uh, that item in there. And then the next one I'll look for, which will be meaningful as well, because it will make sense with this report, is amount. So I'll look for item amount here, and it'll add a, another column here with the item amount. Uh, but this time around, I'll, in the pivot table, I'll tell it not to actually count the instances, but to do a sum that would just basically add up all the amounts in our, every transaction. And I can just uh, change the formatting here and have a real fast, meaningful report outside of QuickBooks using QuickBooks data, all with the power of uh, Excel. So I can take every single data point in here that was exported. Uh, and there's also other transaction types that can be done as well. So I recommend you try this program. It's free and um, you know, good luck building great reports in Excel.